Before we proceed to UV unwrapping, let us optimize the joints. Currently, if the leg is bent, the knee will look bad. It should be more round in the front and smooth from the back. So add more edge loop to make the deformation smooth. Add another one on the top of the joint. Join the back edge or the points to the bottom. Select this face and press Ctrl T to triangulate it. Make sure the lines are in the opposite direction as we have a nice triangle here. Tweak the knee on the front end side. Tweak the knee points from the front view and side view. Now if we deform the mesh, the joint is smooth. The middle part of the knee will be influenced by the bone. So it will also bend, giving more roundness. Add an extra loop for the ankle joint. Just like knee, optimize the elbow. In this case, we join the front part as the elbow is on the other side and the rotation is inwards. We add more loops in the finger joints and wrist.
select the body and press slash on the numpad to view only the body optimize the shoulder and thigh joints Press slash from the numpad again to get out of local view. Do the same for the shirt. Save the file and the model is complete. So now our model is complete and ready for UV mapping and texturing. Before moving further, let's have a quick introduction of UV mapping. So now we have a cylinder and we want to prepare it for UV unwrapping. Let's split this window and assign this UV editor or UV image editor. So what we are going to do is unfold or flatten out this 3D mesh onto this 2D plane. Spread it here and assign an image which will then be painted with relation to the faces and vertices or the UV coordinates. Now to unwrap it we need to cut it. For this we need to have seams from where it will be cut. We mark this edge as a seam. Press Ctrl E and select mark seam. The 3D object will be cut from here and spread out into a nice rectangle here. Press U to bring out the UV menu and select unwrap. So the mesh is cut from the seam we mark. This marking of seam depend upon the model and your own preference. There is no hard rule. For example, we can have another seam here and I will get two pieces. If I had a cap and then I unwrap this, I will have this result. if I mark C here and then unwrap the result will look better we can clear any seam by selecting clear seam in the UE image editor the basic transformation commands remain the same A to select, deselect B to drag select, G to move, S for scale, R to rotate and to select all linked vertices press L. Another useful command is W key to align the vertices. Next important tool is this button. This sync the UV and mesh selection highlights the selected edge or point of face selected in any side.
we can assign an image to the UV coordinates from here set the dimension press Alt Z in the 3D view to see texture now, now as we paint here in the image editor we can see the effect in the 3D object in the 3D view we can also paint directly in the model by selecting the texture paint mode press C in the image editor to bring out more brush and color options the image also gets updated while painting directly over the model and you can save the image from here let's get back to our model to be on the safe side I will work on duplicated mesh select all press shift D to duplicate and press M and press 2 to move the new selected object into layer 2 press 2 again or this button to go to the layer split the window and assign this to UV image editor select body and press slash key above the numpad to get into local view now select the edges to mark seam the best way to study seams is from real life clothes press ctrl E and select mark seam the important thing here is that we have mirror modifier assigned to the mesh so we don't have to work on the other leg in the face select mode press L anywhere on the leg to select the part separated by seams and press U and, and then further select and then click on unwrap now we move on marking seams for torso again press L to select the part and U to unwrap it <laughs> same for the arms For the hands, instead of unwrap options, sometimes I prefer going to the top view and selecting project from view option and spread out the points.
for the head unwrapping would be good if we want to paint in symmetry but here we want to paint the head in a non-symmetrical way so before we unwrap the head we apply the mirror modifier after applying the mirror modifier we see that the UV maps for both right leg and left leg are on top of the each other that is any painting effect will be seen on both legs symmetrically to unwrap head mark seam as shown and unwrap it Now UV mapping for the body is complete. Press slash key again to get out of the local view and select skirt. Apply the mirror modifier. And mark seam. Press U to unwrap. you can tweak and align the points select the points and press W and then click on X or Y axis to align select shirt apply the mirror modifier first as we don't want it to be symmetrical mark seams and unwrap it for the front part I like to select project from view and then relax the points with control V Unwrap the color mesh. For the bow, don't apply the mirror modifier now as we want it to be symmetrical. For the hairs, I will mark the seam in such a way so that I can get this part underneath separated from the top part. Also, I will be marking seam here to separate the front part.
when done check for modifiers and apply them select all objects and then press ctrl J to join them press tab and we see that we have our UV mixed up select each and rearrange them into the light gray area Take care while moving symmetrical parts which are on top of each other. Press L twice to select both the parts like legs, arms, hands which are symmetrical. and finally save the file okay so UV mapping of our model is complete and is ready to be painted for this we need an image uh, to paint upon we can create a new image from here set the dimensions background color and press OK and you have the image you can preview the texture in the 3D view by hitting Alt Z you can start painting within blender by pressing this button bring up the brush properties by hitting C button enter into edit mode to see UV map as guidelines and now you can start painting we can see the effect in the 3D view you can also paint directly on the model by selecting texture painting mode the image gets updated as well 
you can play with different brush settings size color etc but if you want to paint it in some other image editor or a paint program you can save this image and open it or create a new one in your favorite paint program so let's save it I will name it texture open the image in the external editor so we see that we have no UV map as a guidelines to paint we can export the guidelines from blender hit tab select all vertices to see the UV map and go to UV script and click on save UV face layout check the dimensions and save it we can import it and place it on the top layer apart from UV face layout another good guideline is baking ambient occlusion onto the image in the bake panel select ambient occlusion press F8 and in the AO panel turn on ambient occlusion I choose approximate as it is faster press pixel cache and slide the value of correction to full go to renders panel by hitting F10 and press bake the AO data will start baking on the image make sure you have an image there After it's done, we can see a nice preview of the image here. Let's save this image with different name. I'll name it Bake Shadow. Open it in the image editor. we can have the UV face layout as a new layer on top of it set it to multiply and adjust the transparency according to your needs I'm not going to make this uh, painting or editing tutorial so I won't be doing details of this part add a new layer and place it in between the two layers start painting in this layer set it to color over or overlay or hard light soft light according to your needs save this as PSD
In Blender, enter into tab mode, select all points to see the UV map and in the image menu select open and locate the PSD image we can see our new image here you can do any changes here save it and in blender while your mouse is in, in the image editor press alt r to refresh the image Now I will open up what I have already done. You have to be in edit mode to apply an image to the UV. There it is. Let's close this and for the final magic let's paint the mouth in blender. Save the image in any format. Let's turn this off and get back to the object mode. Press F5 to bring out the materials panel. Press Add New. The important thing here is press text face button and finally the model is ready. If you want to export it as obj file you can go to file export obj and finally save it hope you like this tutorial thanks for watching